PCOS or PCOS as some persons call it or polycystic ovary ovarian syndrome polycystic ovary ovarian disease is one of the leading causes of infertility many ladies up to 70 percent of ladies have it but they don't know they do what are the causes how do you know you have it what are symptoms tests treatments home remedies <laughs> in this video we will discuss all of those and more stick with me because i have a free gift for you at the end of this video let's do this polycystic ovary syndrome poly means many cystic means tiny sacs filled with fluid ovaries are where eggs and hormones are produced syndrome simply means a combination of symptoms or a combination of diseases polycystic ovary syndrome is a condition that affects the levels of a lady's hormones it is a group of symptoms that affect the ovaries and affects ovulation there are three main features number one cyst in the ovaries now this may be misleading because you may have cyst you may not have cyst it is not compulsory number two high levels of male hormones number three irregular or skipped periods or heavy menstrual flow women with pcos produce higher than normal amounts of male hormones now women actually produce male hormones right but women with PCOS or pcos produce higher than normal amounts of male hormones and this hormone imbalance causes them to skip menstrual periods or make it harder for them to get pregnant is this deadly not in itself but it raises your chances of other health problems like diabetes high blood pressure cancer depression and so on so pcos makes it harder to get pregnant and it increases the risk of pregnancy complications and miscarriages so what is the main cause or causes of PCOS. The causes are complicated and not clear, but this is clear. It stems from factors like genes. Studies show that PCOS runs in family. So you might be more likely to have PCOS if your sister or mother also has it. Number two, insulin resistance. Um, it simply means that the cells can't use insulin properly when cells can't use insulin properly the body's demand for insulin increases now extra insulin triggers the ovaries to produce more male hormones that's why we have the higher the normal male hormones number three higher levels of inflammations in the body so what are the symptoms how do you know you have pcos the most common pcos symptoms are infertility to get pregnant you have to ovulate women who don't ovulate regularly don't release as many eggs to be fertilized as usual so pcos is one of the leading causes of infertility in women number two period problems you could have irregular periods or you may have periods for just once in several months or you may have very heavy bleeding during your period number three hair growth more than 70 percent of women with pcos grow hair on their face and the body including their back their belly their chest and uh, excess hair growth is called the hair citizen number four acne male hormones make the skin oilier than usual and causes breakouts on areas like the face the chest and the upper back next weight gain up to 80 percent of women with pcos are overweight or obese or have a hard time losing weight and male pattern of baldness the hair on the scalp gets thinner and fall out so what are the tests how do you confirm this if you get to the doctor he will ask you some questions he will check your body he might do some scan do some blood test and he might do some pelvic examination and uh, he, with all the signs and the symptoms you there could be high androgen levels male hormones and irregular periods and then he could see cysts in your ovaries so how do you treat it 
How do you treat it? What is the cure? What are some of the home remedies? Weight loss and other treatments can improve your odds of having a healthy pregnancy even with PCOS. And one of the best ways to deal with PCOS is to eat well and to exercise regularly. What are some of the natural and home remedies we could have for PCOS? As Elias said, if you lose about five to 10% of your body weight, it can help to regulate your menstrual cycle and to improve the PCOS symptoms. Studies have shown that diets like low carb diets have been effective for weight loss and reducing insulin levels. Also, high fiber diets and low glycemic index diets from fruits, from vegetables, from whole grains can help to regulate your menstrual cycle better than the regular weight loss diets you see. Inositol. Some data support the beneficial effect of inositol in improving ovarian function in women with um, menstrual problems in PCOS. Exercise. A few studies have found that 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise at least three times a week can help women with PCOS to lose weight and losing weight also improves ovulation and insulin levels have as we've already established. Then things like acupuncture, there are some evidence that show that acupuncture can help to improve PCOS, but more research is needed in this aspect. Reducing stress can regulate cortisol. Many of strategies such as yoga, getting enough sleep, cutting down on caffeine can help to lower your stress level by regulating cortisol. What are some of the medical ways you could use to help treat PCOS. Birth control pills, taking estrogen and progestin daily can restore normal hormonal balance, can regulate ovulation, can help to relieve symptoms like the excessive hair growth and protect against things like endometrial cancer. Metformin. One study found that taking metformin while making changes in your diet and exercise can improve your weight loss, can help to lower blood sugar and restore your normal menstrual cycle better than changes in diet and exercise alone. Also things like clomiphene. But, but don't just take drugs. No, talk to your doctor. Also, hair removing medicine can help to get rid of some of those unwanted hair. Lastly, surgery. If other treatments don't work, ovarian drilling where tiny holes are made in ovary to help to improve ovulation. So in conclusion, see your doctor if you have skipped periods or you have um, excessive bleeding or you have other PCOS symptoms like hair growth on your face and um, difficulty losing weight. Also see your doctor if you are trying to get pregnant for several months without success. There you have it. Did you learn anything new today? Don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and I have a free gift for you. It is an ebook titled Fire Your Doctor and you can get it by clicking the link in the description section below. Have you heard about PCOS before? Do you know about the symptoms? Do you know about some home remedies or treatment? Drop your comment in the comment section below. Share your knowledge with others and personally I read and respond to every single comment. Take charge of your health and happiness. Oh,